what up guys it's your boy Carl Hugh here how you're doing sorry I haven't uploaded in a while I know I keep saying that um yeah I don't upload as much as I should really but I am going to change that I know I've said that in the past but this time I am definitely going to change it um hadn't hadn't had a sig since yesterday I uh, got my patch on and using my e-sig because I'm wanting to quit because at the moment my asthma is playing up something rotten during the night which is uh, keeping me awake at night um, and waking me up during my sleep. So I've rung up doctors today and they've gave me a stronger steroid inhaler to try for a couple of weeks to see um, how that fares and see if it helps or anything like that. And if not, then they're going to try me on something else. But as you can see, I've got my bike helmet on. Um, I've been uh, to the chemist to go pick up my prescription. And then, because my mate lives not far from there, I went round to go see him and we'd just been for a bike ride and had a coffee, which is nice. Uh, makes a change and that so yeah if I can turn that so yeah I'm just on Queensgate heading up home now because as you can see the sky is looking really dark so it looks like it could throw it down at any point so I want to get back where it's nice and dry and just gonna chill out probably get a coffee when I get in I've been playing um, last night till I think it was about half two in the morning I was playing Gears of War 5. It's really, really good. Really enjoy playing it and getting some achievements off it as well, which is brilliant. Wasn't too happy last night because it was the FA Cup semi-final Man United versus Chelsea and Chelsea won. So it looks like it's a Chelsea and Arsenal final. Now, I would like Arsenal to win it because that would be good. I know I don't like Arsenal, but... I'd rather Arsenal than Chelsea, because Chelsea are scum. Same as Liverpool. As you all know, I absolutely despise Liverpool. So, yeah. But, no, I've been keeping myself busy. And that, been on the bike, been doing some walking. As you know, I've also been streaming to Facebook. Um, I'll put a link to my page on Facebook if you want to come and like and follow it. I've got 1K followers now. And so I'm a Level Up creator on Facebook. So, if, yeah, if you ever want to come and watch me play a bit of games, I do try and alternate it, do like sometimes on YouTube, sometimes on Facebook, but mainly at the minute it's been Facebook that I've been um, streaming on because I get quite a lot of viewers there and get like, a lot of interaction and chat and stars because now I'm a level up creator, I can earn stars. Well, people can send me stars, which equals into cash, but so far I've got like 93 cents. So in our money, that's probably like 30 pence but it's a start, it is a good start, and I've unlocked quite, because there's quite a few achievements to unlock on Facebook Gaming, like the other day I had to have five different people chat, so I got, I asked five of my mates to just pop on and put hi, and there's one way you have to get at least 10 plus viewers, I managed to get that one because I share it to a load of groups on Facebook. Yeah, I've come off TikTok, and the reason being I've come off TikTok is because Someone thought it'd be funny to share my Xbox gamer tag out. So my Xbox was going crazy. I had over 120 party chat invites. And it wasn't just one. They were constantly going. So my, for about half an hour, my Xbox was going, you know the noise it makes when you get a notification or a, an invite. It's going bing, bing. And then I had, and then when I looked in my message requests, because... Um, if someone sends you a message, if you're not friends with them on Xbox, it goes to a message request. So, and I looked at that and I had over 200 messages, which is absolutely disgusting. I reported quite a few of them because I'm on, I'm an Xbox ambassador. I reported a couple of them because some of the messages and pictures they sent wasn't very nice. So their accounts have been banned because um, they got back to me on TikTok saying, Oh, why did you report me for my ex? My account's been banned. I said, well, you shouldn't have been so nasty then, should you? I said, it's your own fault. So, yeah, I've had to change my gamer tag. So I'm not going to tell you what it is on here because I don't want it happening again because it, it nearly crashed my Xbox and I can't afford to buy a new one if anything goes wrong. And then what am I meant to do with my time? Yeah, there's other things I could probably do, but gaming makes me happy and gaming keeps me calm and that. So if I didn't have my gaming, I'd be pretty fucked basically but yeah it's absolutely it looks really dark but it's absolutely roasting so as soon as i get in i'm gonna put my feet up 
I'm going to watch Classic Casualty, which is on drama, which I watch up on catch up in my bedroom. And then have some tea and just I think I'm out of an early night tonight because I was up till half past two this morning. So I think I'm due an early night tonight. But yeah, um, things have been going good. Hope everyone else is doing all right. Hope you're staying safe. And hopefully you're starting to go back to some normality, which I am. I can go to town now once a fortnight. So I've worked it out to go when I get... Cool electric bike with a little trailer. I could do with electric on my bike. <sighs> but hopefully now, now I've quit the smoking, my chest should be a lot better. I know it's only been a day, but if I keep going at it, then I'm going I'm to crack it this time. I know I've said it before. Um, last time I'd quit, I lasted three weeks. But this time I'm going to last years. I'm going to make sure of it. Because I want to get myself in a better position for like... Because if I quit smoking and I'm starting to lose weight, I can fit now into a waist 40 jean, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so if I can quit the smoking and lose some more weight, then hopefully I'll be able to start my gender treatment. I'm going to have a look at seeing about going privately, because apparently someone said if you ring up gender GP, um, for, an, for an initial start-up for everything, it's 195 and then it's £30, month, 30 pound monthly costs for like other appointments and stuff but apparently if you're on a low income and you ring them up and you can prove you're on a low income which I'm on ESA and PIP then you can get it at dirt cheap well like a reduced price so you wouldn't have to pay as much so I'm only wanting to go to there just to start the hormones and wait for the other stuff on the NHS because um, you can do that and plus if I go there private and I get my script then I can go to my um, doctors and get it um, shared cared which would be absolutely fantastic. And then it won't cost me as much money. But what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to make sure and check that my doctor will do shared care because if they don't, I won't be able to afford the £30 monthly cost for them to do it. Whereas if they do it shared care with my doctor, it wouldn't cost me anything. So I'm going to ring them up and see what they say and everything. But yeah, so thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to know when I next upload, hit that bell and you'll get a notification on your phone saying that I've uploaded. So, as always, I'll see you later.